Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Do you ever feel like every project is a process? Well, that's what today's gonna be. We are going to install some underglow. Ignore all this stuff. We're gonna install some underglow on the C8 because I am still a kid at heart and I wanna have the option that when I need some underglow action, I can turn it on. So that's what we're gonna to do today. But going back to the process, I gotta move some vehicles around, get the C8 up on some ramps to get this project started. Let's go. Now we're back in the garage. We are up on the ramp, so we have a little better access underneath the vehicle. But let me show you what kit we are working with today. So this kit is by Nylite. So they have sent over this six piece kit, which is going to go under the C8. And this is going to be the back of the vehicle, the sides and the front. And that means it has to come to this control box, which needs power. I'll probably just hook it up to the cigarette lighter adapter for now but eventually we'll probably wire it into the fuse box. So we might as well get all the wiring into the right spot. So I've done a little research and we're gonna need the wiring to go through the firewall on the C8. So let me show you exactly how I plan to get the wire through and underneath the front lid. Now I've already taken out the glove box. This is very simple to take out. It's actually easier to show you already removed. So there is a little piston right here it's just dangling. Let me give you some light. So this little piston needs to come off. You just have to squeeze this little side clip here. Squeeze that and move the piston out of the way. And then this tab, there's one on the other side. You just need to squeeze this in. You can use a pry tool, but create pressure on both sides. So it can drop out of this channel here and then the glove box will just come off because these little clips on the back just hook onto these and it'll come out easy. So you can see that's where the fuse panel is. I took the cover off already, but behind here is where we're gonna run the wires. Now behind the floor mats and this sound deadening carpet material, you know, there is a grommet back here that we are gonna poke a wire through to get into the frunk area so we can start running all the wiring. So to poke that wire through shouldn't take too much. I'm gonna use this wire right here. I love this stuff. It kind of holds its shape. Not as thick as a coat hanger, but it should be thick enough. And that grommet's rubber so it should stretch, but we wanna tape this together and pull it through once I poke a hole through the firewall. So let's open up the trunk lid, take off some of the plastic so we can get to that grommet and I'll show you where that wire pokes out. I'm going to attempt to do this all one-handed. So this piece has to come off, this has to come off, and this tray has to come off. So I should be able to do this. Just pull that way. This one, put it in here. Now left-handed the real test. Done. Now this piece has a plug here, that corner, one near the middle, and those two corners as well. We'll pull up. Set that out of the way. Not bad for one hand. Now that grommet is right down here. Right down there. So 
or the delay right there. So if we just poke a hole to the side of that wiring that's going through, we should be able to feed our wires through there. You know what, for access purposes, I think I need to remove the tub. So let's do that. All right, here's the plan. We pulled that wire through pretty easily. We've got the quick connect box right here that needs to be wired to those wires. But before we do that, we need to fish these two connections somewhere down through the bottom here. I've decided on this tray because the shape of the front of the C8 is very angular. So I need both the strips to kind of start here and go to an angle and kind of line up to the sides. So I've measured the strip, it's between 18, 20 inches, depending on where you count. So either the last LED or to the edge of the uh, connectors. So I'm gonna put that underneath at an angle here. Now I just so happen to have this grommet handy, this nice rubber grommet. So I'm gonna drill a hole in that under tray and then I'll poke a hole through this grommet and then I'll pass through these quick connectors. And then I could use a little bit of silicone just to seal it up. And then I have a nice finished watertight seal. Good morning, yes, it's actually the next day. Bit of a status update for you. So I went ahead and did a little more work and I actually got most of the driver side mounted. I wanted to take my time and really figure it out. So when I filmed the content for you, it would go nice and smooth on this side and I would be able to film the highlights of what I'm doing so you'd get the most out of watching that and it wouldn't be too boring. So we'll do this side together, but yes, the driver side's done. I'll show you a quick preview of that in a moment. It's not my thing to use full time. So just to be clear, it's gonna be used more for content, pictures, that type of thing, car shows especially, maybe a Christmas card next year. But my intent with this underglow was to make the install as clean as possible, drill as few holes as possible, and just make sure it's gonna last for the long haul and I'm not gonna have any issues down the road. When I installed a similar kit from Nylite on my BMW M4, it lasted forever. It lasted through the winter. The new owner, I see him using it all the time on social media. So I know this product uh, holds up. Since this is a six piece kit and I've got three strands done, we got three strands left to do on this side. We got the remote here. So I've got one strip ready to go down here. I'll turn it on. There we go. So that's this corner. No one's gonna be laying on the ground looking at it. Again, I've got these ramps, so it's up a lot higher. Plus I'm still gonna lower the car. We got the side here. We got the back. So a quick preview for you. Change some colors if we want. Even has white. And then we have all kinds of different rainbow stuff. Not that I'm gonna do that. I'd probably use a solid color for most pictures, but hey, it's a good start. Let's finish this side. We're gonna start with this strip here up at the front. We'll fish this through like we did the other one right through the grommet that we got down here. Now for mounting it, I am actually going to use a few of these, these teeny tiny screws and these little clips. They come with this kit here. And you can see where I've mounted this strip, a little screw coming through there. This under tray, if I wanted to replace it, very inexpensive. I went with screws to hold the front in because that under tray is convenient to attach to. But here, I used just the adhesive on the side skirts. I didn't want to drill a bunch of holes into there. So that's done. And then back here, I used a couple of those mounting clips again. And this under tray underneath is cheap to replace if I didn't want any holes, but the holes are so tiny, uh, it's inconsequential. So I'm not too worried about that. And I don't plan on taking it off, at least anytime soon. So let's continue over at the front. Now, like I mentioned, I want to keep the install clean. So in some areas, I have some of these retaining clips. I'm going to use existing screws in the underbody just for channeling or fishing the wires to certain areas so they are tucked up out of the way and I'm not drilling a bunch of extra holes.
Okay, time for a progress check. We are done the front and we're done the sides. We just have to worry about this back corner. The hardest thing about an install like this is just planning it out and wire management. The rest of it is pretty simple. The adhesive works really well on the bottom of these side skirts. So it's just all adhesive there. In the back, like I said, we're gonna use a couple of those clips or those screw on uh, supports or brackets. What we do have to do back here though, well, you know what, let me show you. So at the back of the car here, we're gonna have to back off this tray so we can run the wires behind the suspension here and then back up to this under tray. We have the other side mounted already. So we're just gonna copy that here and then we'll be able to tidy up our wiring at the front and have this completed. I'm happy to report that all the annoying undercar stuff is done. Everything is secured and routed to my satisfaction, which I guess is what counts in this case. Now we have to do all our wiring underneath the front bonnet or lid or hood or whatever you want to call it. So we have the control box here. We need to run those wires nice and neat in behind this area. Probably secure them somewhere nice over here and then solder it to this wire here and then it's just a matter of plugging this switch in to the adapter that's concealed right there. And then we'll have underglow on a switch. At some point, maybe not in this video, we'll connect it to the fuse panel. And then when the vehicle is on or in accessory mode, we just use the remote to turn it on and off. So we'll see, I haven't decided what I wanna do there yet, but for now, we're gonna demonstrate it with this and that's what this video will be. All right, my friends, everything's back together. Let's take it off of these ramps, turn off these lights, and see if it works. Don't worry, don't worry, it wasn't gonna hit the back of the car on the door, there's lots of room. Plus we have cameras, but let's turn the accessory on because this will not turn on unless the accessory's on. That is now on. We now have a red indicator. Oh, I see lights. Grab our remote. On and off. Let's turn off these lights. Here we go. But this isn't the footage you wanted to see. You want to see it at nighttime. But there are lots of different patterns, lots of different things we can do to increase the speed. So many options. But we really want to see this footage at night.
All right, that's enough of me being silly. I was controlling everything with the remote. You can adjust the colors, the speeds, the modes, but of course there's an app for it. Bluetooth control, pick any color of the rainbow. You have access to all your different styles. You can have it work with your voice, so you can sing to it and it'll respond. You can have it go to the beat of your music. Lots of options. I just like to do donuts in the snow, so I was showing you what that looks like. Now I know this isn't for everybody. I'm gonna use it for car shows and when the car is parked, but this is really about the install and looking at different ways you could install this cleanly. I'd like to thank Nylight for supplying this kit for demonstration today. This is really about doing a clean install, so hopefully I achieved that. I'll leave a link to this kit in the video description, but definitely check them out. They got a lot to offer for a ton of different vehicles. So if you liked today's video, hit that like button, please consider subscribing, and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.